no kidding, these guys are prison coaches from a firm called Federal Prison Consultant Services. Steve Oberfest and John Fuller, welcome to Good Day New York. We take the weak and make them prison strong. If you take a hit, you take it like a man. You take it like a bitch, you're gonna wind up a bitch. Our clients range from entertainers, athletes, politicians, businessmen. A lot of white collar criminals never tasted violence, never experienced discomfort, who've never learned how to survive in the correctional facilities. We show them that greed, cockiness won't fly in prison. Did you ever spend time in jail? Yes. How long? Uh, I did 15 months. My man over here did 10 years, and you know, between working together, we're able to handle a lot of different kind of. But cases. you're reformed now, right? Absolutely. Happily married, homeowner. <laughs> Before we go into. Uh the tips that you have because people do seek you guys out hey you've been to jail it actually makes sense if you're going to jail hey I want a heads up I want to know what what to expect you guys come in and help I'm a professional fighter I was a tough kid had my share of trouble I learned how to survive in the correctional facilities my partner John is like my brother he wears a suit so I don't have to this is a jungle you're not used to. It's not Burger King, this is my house. What did you do? Why were you in jail for 10 years? He was caught dealing cocaine. He did hard time and knows what it takes to survive. I was behind bars for 10 years and that's something that no one in this industry can claim. We've been there, we've tasted the food, we smelled the smells. There's no case that we can't handle. When were you released? Uh, 2002. Okay, and you, sir? I had an issue with racketeering. An issue with racketeering. <laughs> a little bit more specific? Uh, you know, people give you plea bargains, and after, you know, they knock off three or four other charges, you plead to, you know, I, I took a plea for racketeering. You know, I served my 15 months. It wasn't like, you know, an extensive period of time, but it gave me enough time to pick up on the system, how it works, and how to work it. Stuart Levine contacted us because he's heading to the big house. I was what one would call a rich big shot. I was involved in criminal activity dealing with political corruption. Each client is an individual. We create a plan that's going to suit them. There's no cookie cutter formula for everyone. Let's talk about Lindsay Lowen. What's the, the best piece of advice you could give her right now? You know, to surrender herself and to... Well, you got to uh, be careful what you say there, surrender herself. Right, to... To, to the authorities, to assist, yeah, Oh, okay, to, to the, the authorities, prisons. okay. All right. And, um, you know, with, with her, you, it can be, I mean, she's sentenced to 90 days. She might be there for a month. She might, she's not going to, I doubt she's going to do it the whole 90 days. And like you said earlier, um, it could be 90, 90 minutes. I mean, this is an overcrowded prison. And, um, you know, so either due to that, after she's being processed, they might decide, you know, we just don't want to deal with you. Um, you know, go to you know a, a drug rehab program instead. What do you know about federal prisons? I watched three episodes of the television program Oz. I haven't given any thought to what it's going to be like in jail. When we were discussing prison, it didn't phase him. What's going to happen once that door shuts? There's no plan. That's correct. This guy is clueless. He's going to stand out like a freaking roach on a wedding cake. We have to break him down. But I don't like your family, your son, your wife. And we have to toughen him up. Punch me. Good morning. How are you? OK, how are you? Throw it in the trunk. This is your new suit. Today's plan is to implement the type of training that Stewart's going to require to get through his time. This is not about me turning Stewart into a cage fighter overnight. Kiss that yellow line. If he doesn't take care of himself, he's going to wind up dying in there. 
you know, anecdotally, or we see, okay, there's a real danger of uh, being abused in jail, mm -hmm. and you got to make friends with a big guy or big girl in this case to protect you and all that kind of stuff. I mean, what's it really like in there? Well, considering the high-profile client that she is, she'll be away from almost every inmate in there. Protective custody. She'll be in PC for the most part. Jail she, within a jail. A jail within a jail. Her access should be on lockdown 22, 23 hours a day. The one hour that she is allowed out will be the time for her to take a shower, uh, make phone calls. She'll receive visits twice Is that considered a better than the, than the general population or is it is it elite? Is it a step back? Do they want to be with the others? How does it depends. She may not want to be with others out of fear for her life. So solitude can be good if she can look deep down inside of herself and figure out, can I be alone by myself for 22 hours out of a day? Not everyone's yeah. capable of I mean, of is that, that. Steve, is that considered the hole when they put you in solitary confinement? I mean, because a lot I mean, of people she's don't like be, that. You know, admi administrative segregation, and it's very important for her because... You know, someone inside could just try to make a name for herself. She can't be with right. everybody else. Um, and that will just, you know, bring them more power within the system and more, you know, more clout. So it's really for her best interest to be isolated um, as, as much as possible and kept away from the general population. Why don't you grab a seat over here? Hey, uh, Sue, can you hand me that pen? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 man. It's not yours. And you didn't say excuse me. That doesn't happen in prison, man. I've seen guys get sliced up for reaching across the table and just taking the salt. Respect must be shown at all times. I sense the cockiness about Stewart, but I think him reaching for the pen was a reality check. Prison is segregated by nature. So your first day in the chow hall, do, 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 do. you're going to scour that room and look for white people. You will sit with your own kind. I understand the unwritten rules. Now a black dude comes and sits next to you, what do you want to do? You knock on the table, excuse me, take your tray and you leave and you go to the section where white people are. It's a customary thing to knock when you're getting up from the table. I wanted to mention Do me a favor, call me Mr. Fuller. Yes, Mr. Fuller. Okay. You're in the shower with six other dudes, licking their lips, looking at you. What are you going to do? I don't know the answer to that. Once you get into the prison system, you can't borrow nothing from anybody. When you bunky says, you know what? Gave you them shower shoes last night. Why don't you make up my bed for me? The answer is no. If he can get you to make his bed, he's going to get you to do some other things too. The way you carry yourself is the way people are going to perceive you. Straight ahead. If you walk in there with any weakness, it will be exposed. Any weakness. When I'm looking at you and you can't look at me in the eye, you look right here. Don't even look in my eyes. And that stare right there will get you out of a lot of problems. You have to walk tall, strong, abs in, chest out, eyes straight. I want you to feel that you have a set of balls that weigh a ton. Sounds going to help you out. When I was put with Mr. Fuller, where he was a prison roommate, I was totally unprepared. Why are you looking straight ahead? I'm talking to you. I'm demanding some respect right now. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Sit up. Why are you against the wall? Sit up. Not respecting me at all. Sit over there and take a crap. You don't feel humiliated yet? In front of another man, happen to go to the bathroom? Uncross those legs. You cannot relax in here. When I saw his feet crossed and he's leaning back, I couldn't even control myself. If you're relaxing, you, at this point, you're a victim. You gotta show strength. He's still too relaxed, he's still too safe, he's still too protected. So Stuart, after a small amount of time that we've been together, what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. You're not as smart as I thought you were. When you're answering everything, like there's a cue card behind me, then we have an issue. She's going to be able to shower every other day. Can we talk about the showers? What happens in those showers? Again, I've seen the movies. 
and her escape from Alcatraz. They won't allow Lindsay to shower with anyone. She'll okay, let's say it. let's say for whatever reason they put her in general population. Mm -hmm. What happens in the showers? What is it with you in the showers? <laughs> <laughs> this is why people. What is it? I'll tell you what. This is why people are afraid of going to prison. What goes I want to know what happens. What goes on in the showers with Lindsay will stay in the showers with Lindsay. <laughs> it never happens, <laughs> right? It never happens. Is it serious? It, oh, I want to be. Uh, is is rape a uh, possibility? Is it is it a real threat? It's to, a, it's to people. All, it's always a threat at any given time. It depends on the timing where the officers happen to be at that particular time. But no one's going to jump their job or the reputation of that prison to leave Lindsay Lohan alone with another inmate. Yeah. That you can bank on. All and right, so you, you have a lot of people that come to you guys for advice. If you were, I know you reached out to Lindsay Lohan's first attorney uh, and you got no response, but if you were a consultant on this, how would you prepare her? Because there are lots of reports this morning that she's kind of freaking out, biting her nails, she hasn't slept, she's not eating. She should have she should have went to rehab months ago. You know, I mean, walking in there straight is really the way to go in. Um, though she will be able to participate in uh, drug rehab programs while she's incarcerated, which is, yeah. you know, could be helpful to her. Steve Overfest, John Fuller from PrisonCoach.com. Check out their website. Thanks for being here. Our pleasure. Yeah, thank you okay. very much. We're going to play little head games. I don't like you. I don't like anything about you. I don't like your glasses. I don't like the way you're fucking looking at me. I don't like what I fucking read about you. And you're looking at me so tight that I'm going to fucking really take you. I'm going to make things happen to you that you have to be ready for. Let me tell you, when he grabbed me, he scared the shit out of me. I'm a fucking scary guy. And look at you, your hands are still locked together. You're a victim still. You're not going to a country club. I don't care what you might think. But when people think they're smarter than you, then you have to take different tactics. And the tactic that this guy's not ready for is a physical tactic. Punch me. Oh! I'm you smile at me like that, I swear to, to God, I don't care if there's cameras here or not. I'm going to really wipe the smile off your face. I'm not sure he realized the severity of what waits for him. Punch me like you mean it. I hurt my hand. Again. I have never been involved in physical aggression of any sort. Get your ass up. Sit over here. That's where I want you to be right now. Now he's ready to listen. Now he realizes that there are consequences. If you take a hit, you take it like a man. You take it like a bitch, you're going to wind up a bitch. After we're nose to nose, and I can see the fear in his eyes, now we've gotten someplace. Stuart, what are you afraid of? Everything. Yes. That's an honest answer. He got me to say what I really felt, and that was, I'm afraid of everything about what's going to go on in prison. This is the, probably the first moment that he had a chance to look in the mirror and say, I am frightened. And that, in turn, opened his ears and opened his mind and even opened his soul. Long day, huh? It was. You think prison's a joke? No, sir. Do you think it's the Holiday Inn? No, sir. It was an epiphany. It opened my mind to understanding what I could face. This is not about me destroying someone. This is about showing that everything that they do has consequences. I think right now, Stuart's gonna have a fighting chance.